Hi, I'm Mike Jarvis, and I'm the manager of the Combustion Group and the Combustion Group of Products, one of which is the Inatec O2 Analyzer. What we're going to do today is replace the cell in the probe that's located up on the spoiler stack and take it back to our shop and I'm going to demonstrate how to replace that cell and then we'll put it back in the boiler for calibration. The first thing we're going to do before we remove the probe is be sure that we've turned the power off of our electronics box. And then we're going to let the probe cool down as much as possible and now we can go up and work on the probe. We're going to take the screws out of the cover of the probe head. Then we're going to remove the wiring from each of the screws and remove the wire from the box. We're then going to take loose the reference air tubing and the calibration tubing. And then there are four bolts that's holding it on the flange. We want to make sure that the probe is as cool as possible. Remove the four bolts, slide the probe out, and we're going to take it to our shop. As you can see, we have brought the probe down from the boiler stack. We've removed the wiring and the tubing and slid it out of the abrasive shield. Now before we start working on this, we want to be sure that this probe is extremely cool and we wear safety glasses. So to give yourself access to the cell, we're going to remove this filter. What we're going to do first is take a half inch and loosen the lock nuts on the side of the filter. Then we're going to take a 532nd Allen wrench and loosen the Allen screws that hold the filter in place. Now that exposes us to the cell and the four Allen screws that hold it onto the flange. I'm going to take the same Allen wrench and I'm going to start loosening these screws. Now you can see that the old cell is trying to come off. It's got a little spring tension on it. It's not going to fly across the room. As I pull the old cell off, I see the spring tension and it exposes the heater. And inside there is a thermocouple. When you go back to put the new cell on, you have a brand new flange. If you'll notice, this flange has five holes. Four of the holes are for the Allen screws. The fifth hole is to allow the calibration gases to go through here, go through here, and into the cell body and out this hole right here which will then bathe the outside of this cell in calibration gases. So to put this on, you align the fifth hole up with that tubing, like so. Then you locate the hole right there on the cell body and align it up with the fifth hole on the flange gasket. You'll have a slight spring tension as you go back together and then insert the new screws. Now once you've got all your screws tightened up, you slip your filter back over, tighten down your Allen screws, and then tighten down the lock nuts. At this point forward, you take the probe back up to the stack and insert it back into the protective shield and attach the bolts and the flange gasket. Reattach the tubing, reattach the wiring, and recalibrate the probe. Now that we have replaced the cell, we shouldn't have to do this anytime soon again because this cell carries a five-year warranty. You can find part two of our videos and videos of our other products on our website at www.hdcontrols.com.